Shannon. I am the CEO of Shy Pink's Cosmetics. If you're returning subscriber, hey, and if you're not, what's goody? Make sure you subscribe to our channel. So, today I'm going to be telling you guys the story behind my brand name, how I came up with Shy Pink's Cosmetics. How did I come up with that name? That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So make sure you grab your popcorn, your drills, your drinks. All the business owners that's trying to start a business or you're new to it and you're still trying to find your name or you want to change your name, make sure you grab a pen and a pencil, a pen or a pencil, and some paper so you can jot down notes. Without further ado, y'all, let's get right into the video. Okay. So, I got my talking points right here. I don't know if you can see, but I got my talking points right here so I can know where to start, like, and stay on track. So, if I look, like, from the camera to the talking notes, just know I'm trying to stay on track. The start of January um, 2022, that's when I started, like, um, saying that I wanted to come up with a brand name. Let's rewind a little bit. <laughs> Prior before 2022, I already had a business. The name was Pretty in Pink ENT. It did not have an LLC, but I did have that, that business for over two years, and I had closed it down in November 2021. I wanted to revamp that business, but I wanted to, I knew for sure I wanted to change the name. I wanted to do more things with the business like i wanted to get my llc and everything so fast forward to january 2022 so january 2022 like y'all i really was on the road y'all like i really was on the road i really had it in my mind that that was the year i was going to get my business my llc i was on it y'all like i was not playing so january i started to like um focus like i started to focus i did a lot of research on youtube um about starting out a business the first thing that came to mind when starting out the business was i need a name and i need an llc now when you first start a business you do not need an llc but for me i had already been in business for two years or so prior so i wanted to make this official like i know that this is what i really wanted to do so i had to make it official for sure i wanted to um change the name of the business and i wanted to get an llc but when you get an llc you cannot i don't know i but far as i know you can't keep changing your name so i wanted the name to be unique i wanted it to represent me i wanted to represent the products that i was going to be selling which was cosmetics so i began to just brainstorm think of things that i liked and i had this strap paper like this piece of paper it was just a regular piece of paper it was a printed paper um, a piece of printed paper white blank paper um so i took the paper and i really just start writing things down that i liked i start writing things down that i like so i start writing my favorite color my favorite food i start writing like things that sound good to me like i just start writing down a lot of things that i like there were a lot of things that came to my mind then after i was done i started to like Mitch match, match, match words up to come up with a special unique word. So I was using my middle name. I was using my last name. I was trying to stumble it up with things I liked it. But then I came to a conclusion. And y'all, this was over a span of two to three months. Because I didn't find my name until about February, end of February, March. So boom so boom i started like just trying to put things together but then i had sat back one day and i was like it's no rush so when find it sad note when trying to find a name for your business do not rush it because that's what i did the first time and i didn't like it that's why i was trying to change it in the first place so when you do not like something don't force it and when you're trying to find your business name please 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 do not force it don't force it please don't force it <laughs> so i just sat back and i was just thinking and i don't know what it was but chicago just was like okay chicago chicago is where i'm from so i was like, okay chicago but i don't want to say chicago so i was like what's something like you can say and, you, and people know you're talking about chicago so i was like shy town 
But I was like, okay, Chi Town. I took Chi from Chi Town. Chi from Chicago, cause C H I. Listen, I know y'all like that ain't your name. Listen, you gotta keep listening. So I took that and I was like, okay, I'm from Chicago. I want this business to represent me. I want this business name to represent me. I'm from Chicago. What's something else that represents me? So I was like, pink. I like pink. My business is gonna be uh, revolved around pink, pink products, pink things, packaging, pink. So I was like, pinks, pinks, different color pinks because it's always like hard trying to find that one shade of pink. It's so many different shades of pink and I like all pinks. So I was like, pinks. So instead of, okay, I wrote it down. It was C-H-I-P-I-N-K-S. I didn't like how it looked. I didn't like how it looked, so I changed it. And instead of putting shy as in Chicago, I was like, what is something else about me like? I'm funny, I'm chill, I'm shy. I'm shy, so shy, S-H-Y. So I'm like, I'm shy, so put shy, instead of putting shy, C-H-I, put shy, S-H-Y. So I put shy, S-H-Y, then I added pinks. But that S, it wasn't looking like, it, it, it wasn't hidden for me. So I had to find something else. I had to, it took me a couple days. I had, okay, I sat with shy pinks because I know for sure I liked it. It was so unique. Everything I looked up, it didn't show nobody had the name or anything. So I was like, okay, cool. So it took me a couple days, couple days, and I kept thinking like, what else do you like? Like, what else do you like? What is something else other people like? What is like, you know? So I just came up with money. Like I was okay, I love money. Like money, you can't really do too much without money. Like I like money, it's the truth, I like money. So instead of like saying money, I was like, okay, what's something, like what's a symbol or something? It automatically came to me, the dollar sign. <laughs> so it was shy pinks, but the S turned into a dollar sign. I knew that I wanted to sell cosmetics, so cosmetics was just in there. I didn't want to switch up how I spell, how to spell cosmetics. I wanted it to be just cosmetics simple. And I knew that I wanted an LLC, so I just added LLC at the end of it to manifest when I get an LLC. So after I found the name, because this is not the last part, after I found the name, I still began to like search, 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 search. I kept searching everywhere. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. Like I literally was looking everywhere. I even looked um, on the the Secretary of State website and checked to see if anybody had that business name. Nobody had the business name, but y'all, it's a catch to it. So when I searched it up on Google, it popped up, but it didn't pop up as nobody name. It popped up as a color. So the whole time, I didn't. I, I didn't know, I, I, I promise, I promise, I did not know that Shy Pinks was the color. I didn't even know that they spell it the exact same way. That was so crazy to me, but I still liked it. Like, it was just something about the name. It was so unique, and it was like, it was just like, when people, like, hear this name, they gonna know it's me. Like, they gonna know it's me. It's Shannon, the girl from Chicago that started selling cosmetic products because she likes seeing others feel like they're beautiful knowing that they're beautiful inside out like this is just going to stand out so i kept the name and then later down the line i began to speak with friends and family i already had it stuck in my mind that that was going to be the name of my brand period but i wanted to see what other people think so i had like little sit downs with my friends and my boyfriend and family and every time I talked to one of them about it it was nothing but positive energy positive things that they had said a lot of people saying that it was so unique which is what I wanted a lot of people were saying that I'm just so they were so proud of me for how far I come it was just making me feel so good y'all so um all in all y'all that's how I came up with our brand name shy pinks cosmetics um, you spell it S H Y P I N K dollar sign cosmetics LLC because we do have an LLC. So yeah, nobody can take the name. 
period that's how i felt the name y'all that is really how i felt the name i know this is like probably a short video or whatever but that's my story of how i found my brand name how i came up with my brand name so it's like yeah if you guys have any questions or concerns or you want to see any type of vi any video that you guys would like to see comment it down below anything you would like to say comment down below as long as it's nothing negative make sure you comment down below and i will be going through the comments and liking and all of that so make sure y'all go ahead through the comments and yeah thank you guys for watching this video make sure you leave a like comment share and subscribe to our channel peace